Welcome back to Andres today. where today we'll be watching Hannibal, Season 2, Episode 8. So only thing that I remember from the last episode was that Will was all dressed up nice. It seems like he's going to be going back to therapy with Hannibal. And he's looking like more, he's looking like more of a Hannibal than a Will than from what we've seen. But I am here for it. I'm so excited. Um, I'm really trying to see. We have one more season to go. It's a very short show. So I'm trying to see if moving forward we're going to speed things up and get really interesting. I'm loving this Will and Hannibal situation and I'm very curious of what's going to happen. I'm hoping Hannibal is going to be stopped and I'm really looking forward to that fight scene between Jack and Hannibal. So that is all I have to say in this intro because it's been a long time time coming that I have not seen the show. So this week is also messed up because I'm supposed to be watching a lot more Hannibal this week, but because it was a holiday week and I didn't think about that before I said what I said, um, expect next week we're going to be doing a lot more Hannibals. I'm going to see if I could try to get somebody to help me um, do my edits so we could be pushing out a lot more content next week. So be prepared. Okay, I'm buckled in. I'm ready to go. I just readjusted my computer. So without further ado, let's jump into Hannibal and find out exactly what Hannibal, Hannibal has got to give. I uh, get the attraction. Jack and Will in the snow. Yeah, so how do you catch a fish that isn't hungry? You change your tactics, you use live bait. Oh. You gotta make him bite, even though he's not hungry. It's not about Hannibal, but a fish. I'm a good fisherman, Jack. You hook him, I'll land him. Are they talking about Hannibal? Um, the fish is alive. Look at that fish. Oh, you know, I love me some fish. Oh my god. Oh, he just pulled it out of the gills? That's horrible. Okay, so Hannibal's cooking fish. Somone or blue? What? Vegetables and broth. That looks absolutely fucking disgusting. <laughs> it was my turn to provide the meat. <laughs> Ew, that looks disgusting. I hope providing the meat doesn't mean you still have doubts about what I serve at my table. Only <laughs> the uh, wounds we dealt each other. <laughs> we will absorb this experience. We are all Nietzsche and fish in that regard. Makes us tastier. Oops! I tried to have Hannibal killed. Isn't that personal? <laughs> in many ways, we need each other. We are the only ones who will know what this feels like. Uh. Fish is delicious. Isn't it? <laughs> you know I started drinking wine like that. I was born dead. She hasn't eaten since pining, I guess. Uh. Feels like she's still pregnant. What? Did they check for twins? Horses can have twins? <laughs> I'm sure they can. <laughs> Yo, that is so disgusting. This show is very realistic. Look at the blood. <laughs> this kind of mutilation usually presents as cult activity Ugh. which is why sacrificial animals should be healthy without any defects this horse was sick uh tissue is consistent it should be strangled uh, it's a little wordy <laughs> meant to hold a young woman until her death can be transformed transformed into what life um killer doesn't think like anyone else jack we'll have to find someone who doesn't think like anyone else to catch him oh will Oh, Nemo! <laughs> uh, what the hell? You're no more at fault for what happened to you than if you had been bitten by a mad dog. Mm. Mad dogs are put down. Is that what you hope to accomplish when you attack your brother? Oh. Doing bad things to bad people makes us feel good. <laughs> I think he thinks I've calmed down. Have you? Oh, I'm calm. <laughs> this is where therapy gets a little tricky. Tricky! I could confess to a murder. You can't say a word. No. But if I'm planning to commit a murder... I'm ethically obliged to take action to prevent that murder. Oh. What's going on? What's up with this music when they, they're together? <laughs> Complaining, but part of me suspects we ended up here to avoid where our conversation was going. Hmm. Much has happened for us not to talk about this, however pleasant to the distraction. <laughs> I would change many things, but not that we ended up here. Looks so uncomfortable. 
The only thing stranger than finding a woman inside a horse is seeing you back in therapy with Will Graham. <laughs> you know why Will tried to kill me? He was protecting you in the only way he felt he had left him. Um. I'm afraid Will opened a door inside himself. No one knows if it closed again. She's annoying. Healthy, he's back in therapy with a good psychiatrist. Let him smile. What a creep. Got a hand spread on her neck. We didn't find anything else on her. Hmm. Her fetuses cannibalize each other in utero. Really? Someone packed it in there real good, too. It's not even on her teeth. What? Be able to figure out where it came from. She has a heartbeat. What? She's in rigor mortis. She doesn't have a pulse. Rigor mortis. She has a heartbeat. What? What's rigor mortis? Does she have family? Oh my god, they just break it into her? Who created the show? It's a... <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Guys like this dance. You can learn it at home. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Back when the horse was alive. I don't want you to see what I do. Oh. Oh. It's a girl. I took your life. And then tried to give it back to you. What? With a bird? We'll bring you. Rebirth. Yes, Will, for this outfit. H&M jacket, totally. Whoever did this knew the horse. Oh. He knew Sarah Craver. Okay. He works here, or he maybe, maybe used to work here. Mm. It wasn't murder, Jack. This was grief. Okay. Bernadone. Oh. You don't seem to be curious about who we are. Who are you? Uh. There was a bird in her chest. You heard about that? With the bird alive? Excuse me? Who, who, who uh, taking care of the bird? Uh, Would you mind looking at a photograph? Uh, uh, he killed her. What is this hand movement? Is he okay? Oops. Did you get your head injury when you were working at the stables, Peter? Yeah, I was kicked kick by a horse. Yeah. Boom. Uh, boom. <laughs> I'm sad for her. I'm sad for her. That for the horse, but I, I can only only help the bird. <laughs> if he is, he never meant to be, and if he isn't, he knows who is. He gives me creepy vibes. So, last time it nearly destroyed you. The last time you nearly destroyed me. <laughs> you may have to pretend, but I don't. Ass bitch. Don't lie to me. Ooh. Question. You fantasize about killing me. Answer. Yes. Ooh. Question. Tell me, how would you do it? Ooh. Answer. With my hands. These hands? I discovered a truth about myself when I tried to have you killed. What? Sicko. Who's to bad people makes you feel good. I need to know if you're going to try to kill me again, Will. <laughs> I don't want to kill you anymore, Dr. Lecter. Hmm. Now that I finally find you interesting. He looks like he belongs in a Pokemon game. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. I owe you an apology. Uh, the evidence was compelling. It didn't stop Beverly from questioning it. Facts. It's the soil we found in Sarah Craver's throat to this vicinity. Uh, Peter Bernadone knew about Sarah Craver's grave and he knew about all the others. Right. Your family unfortunately fosters that climate of disrespect. Who is she? You've already forgiven him. Hmm. <laughs> You've made bad choices before, but now he can make new, better choices. Who is she? I believe my brother won't stop. How does it make you feel? Right. You're optimistic you can stop this from happening again. Oh, I know how to stop it. <laughs> if you really want to kill your brother, Margo, wait until you can get away with it. Uh. Or find someone to do it for you. Oh my god, he is crazy. You said you were worried about the bird? Thought you might like to see it. It's the bird! I used to sort of be uh, FBI. Now I'm really not. Nah, facts. They found Sarah Craver's grave. How do you find it? Oh, what? And almost every society believed birds carried our souls to the afterlife. Really? She's everywhere and nowhere. She... Tell me who killed her. Right, who killed her? I wanted you to find me. I wanted you to find me because if you could find me, you could. Um, him. Who's him? Someone you considered a friend. 
Did you feel less alone? I don't know what's happening. He'll make sure no one will boogie me. I'll make sure they do. Ow! Your notes on Peter Bernadone's file are drastically different than the ones from his last case worker. Okay. Peter's had persistent cognitive problems, confusion, paranoia, rage. Hmm. Surprising lack of empathy in a social worker. Hey. Right now I'm feeling inconvenienced. I'm being detained on the word of one very damaged individual. Oh. I'm being detained. You're being interviewed. Difference. An observation? About me. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. <laughs> and gauge how comfortable he is with emotion, if he has any. Oh. He's a predator. Did you wow. know Sarah Craver? Mm. Curious, Mr. Ingram. Why did you become a social worker? Mr. Ingram. I feel like I don't want to be here anymore. So, if you're not detaining me, I'd like to be on my way now. <laughs> As his social worker, this man is in a position of trust, and he has betrayed that trust. Mm. Oh. His birds are gone. Oh, another dead horse. This episode. What about you? You've been expressing a lot of rage recently. Mm. You think is compromised. <laughs> You're destroying your life. Uh, Some will say this was a long time coming. I know I will. I already have. Uh, you killed them because uh, you, you weren't worthy of them. You killed them. Uh, if I'd killed them, it would be because they were worthy of me. What? God, I sound like a train, a New York City subway. Ugh. Do you think if you save Peter Benadone, you can save yourself? Save myself from what? <laughs> I'm afraid I need to be saved from who you perceive me to be. Oh. Alone in that darkness. You're not alone, Will. I'm standing right beside you. <laughs> What's he doing? Is your social worker in that horse? <laughs> an abnormal reaction to an abnormal situation is normal behavior. Oh! I think he deserves to die. Hmm. But you didn't deserve to kill him, Peter. The guy is still in the horse. Is he dead? You're Hannibal! <laughs> what was done to you? was cruelty for cruelty's sake. Mm. I think I hate him. I think you do. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't kill him. <laughs> it's suffocating to, to, to experience death that he, that he created. So he's alive? This man is alive in this horse. Oh, he is cr he crawled out of the horse. But once you crawl back in there, if you know what's good for you. <laughs> I'm the victim here. I'm not an officer. Oops! Pick up the hammer. Well, pick it up. Oh! Don't feel like killing me. Doesn't have to. <laughs> if you're going to do this, Will, you have to do it for yourself. What? <laughs> oh, wow, he was really gonna shoot him. All my knowledge and intrusion, I could never entirely predict you. <laughs> Hatches. Follow us as own nature and this beyond me. Damn. Ah! Ah! Well, well, the ending of that was amazing. That, actually, the whole episode was really good. I'm just really confused about who killed who and what is doing what. So if you guys can comment down below and let me know exactly what's going on with the dead horse, the dead body, and being put inside the horse and things coming out of the dead body. Just let me know. Comment down below. I know you guys know what is going on um <laughs> why do i talk like that i have no idea i'm tired now um overall this was a really good episode i'm loving the will and hannibal going back and forth if we get more of that moving forward trust me i will live love and want more um my least favorite character is the psychiatrist lady she is just irritating also who is that lady with the broken arm in the sling i know we've seen her in the beginning like being shoved on the glass but what is her purpose what is the story why is she here um maybe we're gonna learn more or is this like a one and done situation i hope it's not a one and done situation because she's very interesting but i don't know why she's here and i don't know what she added to the plot of this story and who is her brother did we just meet her brother is he the psychiatrist like what who is her brother um maybe it was the guy the whole time and 
I didn't know until right now, possibly. Um, but yes, moving forward, I'm thinking that Jack and Will are working together, it seems, to try to get Hannibal caught. That was the whole situation talking about the trout and them eating the dumb fish, and that dish looked dreadful. Um, you will not serve me a fish that looks like a fish. If it does not, not look like a fish stick, I don't want it. Um, but overall, beautiful episode. Love, love, love. And I hope that I could be watching more Hannibal um, maybe this weekend. I highly doubt it, <laughs> to be honest. But next weekend, let's let's bump each other's heads and try to figure this out. So hopefully next week, um, we're going to be doing more Hannibal. Maybe I'll just restart this week, kind of, and do what I was going to do this week before all of the holiday situations so we can get um, more Hannibal out there. So hope you guys are there. Now I'm going to do that outro that you guys love so much. With that being said, guys, this is Reaction of Villa. If you are not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Also, please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. And I will see you all next time on Andres El Rey.